All right, we're back in our Google Drive, and this is going to be the Sh Google Sheets tutorial. So the first thing I want you to do is go ahead and open your eighth grade folder and then go to your math folder. We're going to put the activities that we've completed from this assignment in um, into one folder. So I'm going to right click. I'm going to make a new folder. This assignment has been about the Google Flipbook. So we're going to put everything that has to do with that Google Flipbook together in this folder. So I'm going to create that folder. This is a subfolder of digital activities. So we, you can see we're getting kind of deep here. So eighth grade, math. We're in our digital activities folder. I'm adding a subfolder here. I'm going to make it orange as well. You can make it whatever your math color is. And then I'm going to take all the things we've created for this flipbook and I'm going to put them in this Google Flipbook um, I don't know why it doesn't want to just move it there. There we go. Oh, I didn't need to do it three times. All right, let me delete those other two. All right, so digital activities, Google Flipbook. There we go. All right, I also have that um, what I know about thing. And you notice that that wasn't in our math folder. And that's because that's in my Google Classroom folder. So you're going to have to find your Google Classroom folder. And then this says demo. Yours would say Campbell, Core, whatever, or math, or something like that. But there's that assignment, um, what I remember about. So we're going to move that assignment. So I'm going to right-click the assignment. Um, oh, well, that didn't work. OK, I'm going to open it. Oh, here we go. OK, so right here, you can see this little uh, file folder with an arrow. That's We're going to move it. So I'm going to click that button. I'm going to go out of my Google Classroom folder. I'm going to go into my eighth grade math, digital activities, Google Flipbook. There we go. All right. Now that you're in that, go back to your flipbook folder. So I'm back in my flipbook folder and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a new Google Sheets presentation. So we're going to go, I'm in the Google flipbook, new Google Sheets. And we'll go ahead and follow the direction. So I'm going to kind of model this for you. I am not going to do the exact same topic that you're going to be doing, but you'll be able to get an idea. So um, you're going to be creating a table and your table is going to be about, uh, I think yours is about favorite ice cream flavors. I'm going to do something else. I'm going to do favorite color. So we've got maybe red, green, blue, purple. Let's do those. Okay, and let's say we had 14, 5, 6, and 5. Okay, so I've created my little table here. There's some things I want you to do to format this. One of the things I want you to do is to add color to each row. So I'm going to make my red row red. So I've selected my red row, and I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to fill it in with a red color. I'm going to change my green row, fill it in with the green. Blue, I'm going to fill in the blue. Purple, I'm going to fill in with the purple. Now, yours is about ice cream flavors. So if you want to just do random colors, that's fine. Um, if you want to do something, uh, you know, kind of that matches the, the flavor, that's totally up to you. I'm going to make my font a little bit bigger so it's a little easier to read. Okay, once you have that, then I want you to go ahead and add a label above each of your categories. Now, you notice the way I've done my table here. I didn't leave room for that, but that's okay. I can come over here. I'm selecting that top row. I'm going to right click and I'm going to insert above. And now I have enough room. I'll get rid of the red. Now I have enough room to put a, a label here. So this is the favorite color. And this is the number of people. All right. I also want you to add borders around your table. So I'm going to select my entire table. I'm going to go to this box here that says borders, and I want every cell to have a border. So I'm going to click this one here, all borders. 
if you need to resize to make everything fit, you just drag this over. I need to resize a little bit so that color fits. You may need to resize for some of your ice cream flavors. Okay. We're also going to add a title. A title usually goes at the top. So I am going to add an additional row above here. And for my title, I'm going to merge these two cells together. So I'm going to drag, I'm clicking down here, and I'm going to drag over and select both of those top rows. And I'm going to go to Format, Merge Cells, Merge All. And then I'm able to put my title here. So my title is going to be, What's Your Favorite Color? And to make it obvious that it's the title, I'm going to make it bold and I'm going to make it larger. Okay. I need to drag this over and just make it large enough so that my title fits. So you can play around with the width of your columns until it looks, uh, looks nice. All right, once you've created your table, you've added your labels and your title and your colors, you're gonna create a chart out of this. So you're gonna select your table, don't select the title, just select the table, and you're gonna create a chart. So to create a chart, you're gonna come over here to this button right here. Um, it kind of looks like a bar graph inside a square. And it's created this chart for me. It went ahead and picked a pie chart right away, circle graph, but you can pick a different type if you would like. So we've got bar, we've got an up and down bar graph, you've got a multitude of choices. So they suggested a, a pie graph, but there's some other options up here um, in this suggest, suggested column. So you could pick any of these um, if you would like to. I'm going to go ahead and stick with this um, circle graph. All right. So then I'm going to click customize. I'm going to see if there's anything here that I would want to change. Chart style. No. Pie chart. No, I'm looking for where I could change the title. There it is, chart title. So I want my chart title not to be number of people, but to be what's your favorite color. And maybe I want to make my title bold. Other than that, it's fine. And then I'm going to just move this over next to my table. All right, once you've done all of that, you're going to give your assignment a title. Your title should be your first initial and your last name and then something that represents the assignment. This is the Google Sheets flipbook assignment. Right. That's it for that part of the tutorial. So go ahead and create yours. Remember yours is going to be about ice cream.